Robin Day. Well, of course, amid the welter of names and figures and percentages and predictions, uh, this, of course, is not a game to see whether the polls are right or the computer is right. It's a question of a new government for the country and the impact its policies will have on the people of this country. And with me are two men who will be vitally affected by the policies of a government under Mr Heath. Because with a majority of 40 or so, he's going to be able to push through the laws to deal with trade unions, which he's been campaigning about. And with me is Clive Jenkins, General Secretary of the Association of Scientific and Managerial Staffs, and Mr Frank Chappell of the Electricians and Plumbers Union. Forgive me for not giving the full title. Now, gentlemen, as trade unionists, are you going to cooperate as law-abiding citizens in a law which Mr Heath may pass, controlling your activities in some way or other? Mr Jenkins. There's obviously been a lot more Tory propaganda which has been lurid as opposed to the text of what they suggest. My own guess is that the Conservatives realise this is a trade union country and the white collar revolution is going to roll along merrily and they will take no steps whatsoever to halt or impede this progress. But if they do? I'm sure they won't. But if they, if they decide to bring in legislation, which the Labour government tried to do, but of a slightly different kind, are you going to cooperate or take industrial action against it? Well, I think the answer must be, if it is in the interests of uh, our members, fine. If it is opposed to our interests, I, for one, will be as irredentist and vigorous in dealing with it as I was in disliking what the Labour Party suggested. Mr Chappell. I'm not so sure what Mr Heath's proposals actually amount to as against what the Conservatives have been saying they would do to the trade unions if they gained power. I uh, surmise their proposals are not as bad as the things they've been saying. My advice to any government in this country would be that they cannot govern this country without the full cooperation of the trade unions. That, of and course, is that, that I'm sure Mr Heath would be the first to agree with that. On the other hand, he would also say that if he gets a mandate, a clear mandate to pass laws for the what he thinks is the better regulation of industrial relations. Will you, as a trade union leader, cooperate in those uh, in obeying those laws? I don't think he can get such a mandate from the people of this country with a majority of 40, or indeed only half the people of the country ever likely to support a conservative uh, party in the House of Commons. Well, this is a trade union leader uh, giving a very uh, a novel doctrine of what a mandate is. A mandate is the, is the uh, authority given to the government which is appointed uh, by the Queen after a general election. I should, have thought of, I should have thought a mandate was a mandate to do those things which, are, uh, which you are capable of seeing through to their fruition, capable of producing the sort of results you want which is industrial peace, productivity and a higher standard of living for the people of Britain. And if it doesn't do those things, I think you will have failed as a government. One, or last, one, last, question to you, one last question to you both. Uh, leaving aside the details of Mr Heath's plans, whatever they may be, uh, do you think that a Conservative government is going to result in more industrial unrest, or I should say even more industrial unrest, than we have seen under the Labour government? Mr Jenkins? Well, when I talked to Mr Heath last, he said that the Conservative Party were interested in strong trade unions, in their participation in management, and in the extension of trade unionism right through the white-collar groups. I accepted his word, and I expect to see just that. Are you satisfied any of your members here are getting enough overtime tonight, Mr Jenkins? If I was looking after them, I'm sure they'd do better than they are now. Oh, I'd say we mustn't go into that anymore. Um, Mr Taylor. Uh, of the Opinion Research 